Hello, English learners. Welcome to this special episode where we'll explore the fascinating world of phrasal verbs with get. In the next few minutes, we'll unravel the magic behind these expressions and help you master their usage. So, let's get started. Phrasal verbs are a crucial part of the English language, and get is one of the most versatile ones. It can change the meaning of a verb entirely when combined with different particles like prepositions and adverbs. Today, we'll delve into the various uses of get and phrasal verbs. Get plus prepositions. Let's begin with phrasal verbs formed by combining get with prepositions. Get up, meaning to rise from a lying or seated position. Example. Every morning, I get up at 6 a.m. to start my day. Get off. Meaning to leave a vehicle or step down from something. Example. We'll get off the bus at the next stop. Get on. Meaning to board a vehicle or join an activity. Example. Hurry up. Let's get on the train before it leaves. Get over. Meaning to recover from an illness, setback, or emotional distress. Example. She struggled, but eventually she got over the loss of her pet. Get through. Meaning to complete or survive a difficult situation. Example. With determination, they managed to get through the challenging exam. Get out. Meaning to leave a place. Example. The fire alarm rang, and everyone had to get out of the building quickly. Get plus adverbs. Now let's explore phrasal verbs formed by adding adverbs to get, get away, meaning to escape or take a break from something. Example, I need to get away from work for a few days and relax. Get together, means to meet up or gather with people. Example, let's get together for lunch on Saturday. Get along, means to have a friendly relationship. Example, despite their differences, they managed to get along quite well. Get ahead, means to make progress or succeed in a career or situation. Example, she worked hard to get ahead in her job and was eventually promoted. Get back, means to return to a place. Example, I can't wait to get back home after a long day at work. Get behind. Means to support or be in favor of something or someone. Example, many people get behind charitable causes and donate generously. Idiomatic expressions. Idiomatic expressions with get can be fun and expressive. Let's look at a couple of them. Get the hang of something means to become familiar or skilled at doing something. Example. It took me a while, but I finally got the hang of playing the guitar. Get cold feet means to feel nervous or hesitant about doing something. Example. I had planned to give a speech, but I got cold feet at the last minute. Formal versus informal usage. It's essential to know when to use these phrasal verbs in formal or informal settings. Generally, formal situations require using more precise vocabulary. In formal situations, consider using stand up instead of get up, leave instead of get off, join instead of get on. In informal situations, you can use the get phrasal verbs we discussed earlier. Real-life examples. Real-life examples. Let's hear some real-life examples of get phrasal verbs in action. My friend got over her fear of public speaking by practicing regularly. The kids got along surprisingly well during the summer camp. Advantages of using phrasal verbs. Using phrasal verbs like those with get can significantly enhance your English communication skills. They make your language more expressive and natural, allowing you to better connect with native speakers. Tips for learning phrasal verbs 
Learning phrasal verbs can be challenging, but here are some tips to make it easier. Context matters. Pay attention to the context in which phrasal verbs are used. This will help you understand their meaning more effectively. Practice regularly. Use phrasal verbs in your daily conversations and writing to reinforce your understanding and memory. Learn in groups. Study phrasal verbs with similar meanings together. It will help you see patterns and remember them better. Let's practice. Once upon a time, in a quaint little town, lived a young girl named Lily. She always dreamt of becoming a talented guitarist and playing in a band. However, whenever she picked up a guitar, she felt nervous and got cold feet. One day, she met an old musician, Mr. Johnson, who offered to teach her. With his guidance, Lily started practicing regularly and slowly got the hang of playing the guitar. As her skills improved, she got over her fear of performing in front of others. Lily's talent spread throughout the town, and soon, she was invited to get on stage with a local band for a performance. On the day of the show, she got up early, feeling both excited and anxious. But with the support of her friends and family, she stepped on stage and gave an outstanding performance, getting a roaring applause from the audience. After that day, Lily's life changed. She got along well with the band members and started writing her songs. She even got back home with a recording deal, getting ahead in her musical career. Through hard work, dedication, and the magic of phrasal verbs, Lily's dream finally came true, and she lived happily ever after, making her mark in the world of music. In the story, I used the following phrasal verbs from the podcast episode. Pick up to start learning or acquiring a new skill or habit. Get cold feet to feel nervous or hesitant about doing something. Get the hang of to become familiar or skilled at doing something. Get over to recover from an illness, setback, or emotional distress. Get on to board a vehicle or join an activity. Get up to rise from a lying or seated position. Get along to have a friendly relationship. Get back to return to a place. Get ahead to make progress or succeed in a career or situation. These phrasal verbs were used in the context of the story to describe Lily's journey from being nervous and hesitant about playing the guitar to becoming a skilled and confident musician who achieved her dream of performing on stage with a band. Exercise. Guess the missing phrasal verb. As you listen to the podcast, I'll present sentences with missing phrasal verbs. Try to guess the correct phrasal verb based on the context and what you've learned from the episode. After each sentence, I'll provide a short pause for you to think and then reveal the correct answer. Sentence number one. I need to. Early for school tomorrow. Sentence number two. Let's. For a picnic on Saturday. Sentence number three. The scary movie was so intense that I couldn't. It. Sentence number four. The teacher asked the students to. And take turns answering questions. Sentence number five. Despite their differences, the siblings always. Well. Sentence number six. His dedication and hard work helped him. In his career. Sentence number seven. After a tiring week, I like to. For a short vacation. Sentence number eight. The kids were excited to. The roller coaster at the amusement park.
Answers. I need to get up early for school tomorrow. Let's get together for a picnic on Saturday. The scary movie was so intense that I couldn't get through it. The teacher asked the students to get up and take turns answering questions. Despite their differences, the siblings always get along well. His dedication and hard work helped him get ahead in his career. After a tiring week, I liked to get away for a short vacation. The kids were excited to get on the roller coaster at the amusement park. Congratulations, English learners! You've taken a significant step in mastering phrasal verbs with get. Keep practicing and incorporating these expressions into your everyday conversations. Phrasal verbs add color and depth to your language skills, making you sound more like a native speaker. Thank you for joining me on this language journey. Until next time, happy learning!